If there's one thing I found that's gonna make you look 10 times better, I really think it's longer eyelashes. I mean, they say the eyes are the windows to the soul and your eyelashes are really what draw people to your eyes. With my eyelashes specifically, I've always found that they kind of point down. They don't really hold a curl, so mascara really doesn't help them that much. And really, mascara has never been the solution we wanted, right? Like, it can look really globby, and taking it off is just a huge mess, especially waterproof mascara. Traditional fake eyelashes, too. Kind of a mess with all that glue. I just never really nailed how to use them and would end up with, like, really itchy eyes the whole night. But now it's 2019, and we finally have a better solution for eyelashes. These are magnetic eyelashes, and they're pretty cool. So they work by using a special kind of eyeliner that forms a magnetic charge with the five magnets on the false eyelashes. So I'm putting these magnetic eyelashes to the test. I'm gonna wear them for three days. Also just wanna say, I'm no makeup artist, so my makeup isn't gonna be like absolutely perfect. This is more as, you know, a normal person's skill level, how these eyelashes are gonna hold up. So before using these, my main concerns are really, will they actually stay on and are they gonna feel heavy? So we're about to find out. So these Kiss Magnetic eyelashes are reusable 30 times. Since you're not putting glue on them like normal false eyelashes, they last way, way longer. I'm finding the eyeliner is a really nice, like thick, opaque, very black line, but it's pretty easy to use actually. So I found the Magnetic Eyeliner had a nice, really thin brush that made it easy to apply. Okay, it's really nice because you can actually adjust it as you go and you don't get glue everywhere. <laughs> so I like that a lot. So this is what I mean. You can see here, I'm moving the lashes around to really place them close to the lash line. And even though I'm moving them, it's not making any mess because everything's really dry already. I don't know, it's nice because if you mess them up, you can take them off but it doesn't get glue everywhere. It doesn't make this huge mess. I just think they look really good. So now we are gonna start the 36 hours of wearing these. So me and Tasha are getting some wine. The magnetic eyelashes are holding up well. They're not falling off or anything like that. Two hours later. It's really loud in here, but I'm about to leave. Okay, I just got home. I've been wearing the eyelashes for probably six hours. No sign of them falling off at all. They have stayed on very, very well. Like, I am very impressed, very impressed with these. I really like these. I think they look pretty natural, but also it just makes your eyes so opened up and I don't, they just look pretty. Okay, we're about to go get my phone fixed. Eyelashes still looking great. I mean, obviously it's been like not even an hour. <laughs> So this is a pretty typical day for me, going around town, getting footage. We we're testing out the new iPhone cameras. I figured this would be a good way to test out how they hold up just on a normal full day in my life. We're probably at hour four. The eyelashes have not fallen off. No signs of them falling off. They're not itchy, they're not annoying. They look great. Honestly guys, I keep forgetting I'm even wearing these fake eyelashes. Then I went to this fashion event. I really was kind of out and about all day. We're going to try stuff on now. The eyelashes are still intact. It has been, I mean, like a full day already. I'm now at my laser hair removal appointment. But you know what's not getting lasered off is these. They're still on, looking great. Very happy to report that during the day, I didn't even notice them. Like, I really didn't even feel them at all until I would see them in the mirror and I'd be like, oh yeah, I'm wearing those. They didn't fall off at any point. Like, even the edges of them, like, didn't come off. So I was very impressed. Overall, yeah, I think that they're really, really cool. And I'm gonna continue wearing them into the evening. Okay, so it's clearly much later. It's like probably eight or 9 p.m. And I'm in a pool and they're still on. Another day of the eyelashes. They're still looking great. I like how there's a little like magnet on this, so you're not gonna lose them. It is day three. I'm gonna use these same lashes. Since they stay good for 30 days, I'm sure that they'll be fine. And yeah, let's just put these on. I feel like I'm really getting the hang of this eyeliner brush. Okay, great. So I think what's really cool about these lashes is it's so easy to swap the different ones. So for the daytime, I'm gonna do the Tempt. 
And then I'm going to dinner tonight to celebrate something and I'm gonna try out the charm ones because these ones seem a little bit more dramatic. In general, I think the Tempt eyelashes were great during the day. Dang. These things are just crazy. I love. My friends didn't even notice I was wearing false eyelashes until I pointed it out, which is exactly what I wanted. A more subtle false eyelash, but still makes your eyes pop and look really good. Okay, I'm headed to the airport. The lashes are gonna fly with me today. Bye. Aww. This day I was running late, so I put them on in the car. Since the eyeliner was already on, it was actually super easy to just click the eyelashes into place. Boom. Wow, that, was that easy? Yeah. They look good too. Thanks. What the heck? I love Probably these. Extras. Yeah. <laughs> My eyelashes are looking sparse. Wait, I want to try them out. How do they feel? Yeah, I don't even notice them. Wow. Like at all. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay, so now I've really tried these eyelashes and conclude that I actually really like them. Mascara in general just will never look as good as false eyelashes, in my opinion. Eyelash extensions are the other option, but for one, they're really expensive. Eyelash extensions in LA are anywhere from $150 to $200, and it only lasts for a couple weeks. Two, they take forever to put on, like actually an hour and a half. And three, they're really high maintenance since you're wearing them all the time. You can't rub your eyes, you have to be careful when you sleep, they're just kind of annoying. But these magnetic eyelashes are $16.99 for the whole kit and it lasts for 30 days, so it's just a way better deal. In conclusion, these Kiss magnetic eyelashes really surpassed my expectations. I think they're a great product both for everyday use and special occasions. They're relatively inexpensive and don't take very long to apply at all, so I definitely recommend trying them out. Okay, so that is the week of wearing them. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. I enjoyed trying them out because false eyelashes used to freak me out. Like the kind with glue, I just could never put them on right the first time. Then they'd get itchy and I would just make a huge mess. It just was not good. Because like I said, my makeup skills are like pretty good, but I'm no makeup artist. I think a lot of people that make videos about these kind of false eyelashes are just really good at putting eyelashes on in general. Um, yeah, I'm a regular person when it comes to makeup skills, which is funny because when I started my YouTube channel, it was like makeup tutorials and I did not know what I was talking about. My favorite ones of the Kiss Magnetic Lashes, like if you're looking at picking up a pair of those, was the Crowd Pleaser. These are the most dramatic ones. They're good for nighttime, but honestly, I wore them during the day and I mean, no one was like, oh wow, so dramatic. They just looked really good, I thought. I also liked for the daytime, for just a more subtle one, the Tantalize or the Charm ones, because those ones are just a little less dramatic. But I think a lot of times if you're wearing false eyelashes, you probably just want them to be more dramatic anyway. That's why I think if you're gonna get any of them, I would just get the Crowd Pleaser. Like those ones, they look really good. Like I said, no one assumed I was wearing false eyelashes, so so that's what I thought was really cool about these. They didn't look super fake. It just looked like my eyelashes were long and they looked really good. This video is sponsored by Kiss, the magnetic lashes I wore in this video. So I will have a link to all the products down below that I use in this video. I mean, I used them for a week and I really like them and I'm gonna continue using them. So these ones are great because you can get Kiss products at a drugstore. So if you're thinking of trying out magnetic lashes and you don't wanna spend a ton of money, I think these are your best option. And like I said, there are several different kinds, better for daytime or for nighttime. And the cool thing is it's super easy to switch them from daytime to nighttime. So you could wear the charm ones during the day, take them off, easily put on the nighttime ones like the crowd pleaser. Something you cannot do with regular false eyelashes. Like those things are on for the day and if you take them off, I feel like your makeup is ruined. <laughs> Basically, I'm never going back to regular glue false eyelashes because I just think these are better. One tip I do have, um, and this goes for normal false eyelashes too, sometimes the false eyelashes are a little bit too big for your eye. So you, if you can kind of measure it and then cut it and then it'll fit better. That's what I used to do with normal false eyelashes anyway, but if you didn't know that, they're gonna look a lot better because sometimes then 
if they're too long, like you can tell it's like going off of your eye. So if you didn't know that, just use like little eyebrow scissors and you'll be good. If you guys have tried these out or tried out magnetic eyelashes in general, comment down below and let me know what you thought of them. That is it for this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.